B Dog, you wanted to talk about this dude, Mexican OT. You heard this single that he dropped uh, with Currency and Ellie Dalla. Uh, you wanted to talk about this one. So go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, that shit is fire. I love that. Mexican OT getting bigger and bigger, man. He gets some nice features. I like Mexican OT. This that shit was heat to me. He definitely uh, getting. Uh, I feel like I'm starting to see him like all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm starting to see him on you know featured on a lot of stuff and. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what, what's so great about the dude. I, I don't really understand it, honestly. So, I mean, put me on. Honestly, I, like I think it. it's just the Texas push. They want another big Texas star mm-hmm. out there. Mexican dude, like he just got he got the formula, man. So they're gonna push him. And this song is amazing to me. I really like the production on it. I'm trying to see who made it actually. So the song I, I like is uh, the, uh, the dude. He got a, a personality that's, that's um, he got charisma. He, he, you know what I'm saying? So is his he got like fun in the songs or in the way he raps. So I, I don't really know mm-hmm. how to describe it besides that because it's not like he's some kind of lyrical mastermind or anything like that. But I mean, it's just like currency on the song. Um, you know what he was saying was funny or, or, or entertaining. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I don't think he's no super lyrical dude like that, but he definitely entertaining. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I was just saying about the song, and I, you know, I thought Ellie Dollar and uh, and Currency the ones who killed it. I, I mean, really, Ellie Dollar, I thought that, that the best. Um, and I think he's mm-hmm. underrated for Texas as well. Uh, I like his music. Uh, Imperial Sass just said he, he's uh, just the baby flow sped up with <laughs> chicken and. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, in very sense, kill it, be kill it, got great hate in the chat, man. Great hate in the chat. All right? A chicken Love in seat. hand with a cowboy hat, bro. <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah. So I, I thought, uh, I think it's cool. I thought it was great. I thought it was a great song. I love, yeah. you know, him rapping with other, you know, Houston, you know, uh, cats, you know, and, and encourage yeah. other Southern artists, other Southern acts um, who are, you know, uh, so. And he's gotten bigger looks, like from other bigger artists. So I think it's cool, mm-hmm. man. Uh, I'll, I'll keep checking out, checking him out if he drops more I'm stuff. Like Yana, that. I think Currency had their worst verse on this to me. I think both of their, I like both of their verses better to me. Ellie Dollar killed that shit too. Yeah, I thought Ellie Dollar killed it. Ellie Dollar killed it. One song. He, he the one that I feel like should be getting more push. Like I, I would love to see him get more placements. Like he's actually, he could actually rap to me. Um, and that's what, you know, and we're going to talk about this, you know, more with Tyler, the creator and stuff like that, uh, his comments and stuff as well later on in the show. But um, I do feel like sometimes it's the people with more of a, I don't know, a, a gimmick than it is the people with the talent that get on. You know what I mean? Like, it's more about the gimmicks than it is about the talent, you know? So yeah, I, I, I not to say that. Right, Mexico, you got to have the, the mixture. You got to have the gimmick and something. That's what make you good. They got people exactly. with gimmicks. They got people that's got something. When you got the together, mm-hmm. you got the, the top people. You know what I mean? All the best rappers got gimmicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. LL take his shirt off. Snoop is doing the, the smoking weed thing. Uh, you got, um, think of somebody. 50 got shot nine times or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, think of something. They all got, it's like, it's like wrestling kind of. Kind of. Like, it's like different, but it's, yeah. it's his own thing. But that's a part of it. Yeah, what's not the gimmick? He's the golden child. The golden child. What you mean? Always did. Uh, Queen's Bridge. Right there. But you're right. He don't have as big a gimmick as other people. And that's why he, not, he never got the big star looks as some other people. Like Jay-Z sure. thing is always, oh, I'm a business guy. I'm going to make a ton of money. I'm, I'm a hustler guy. Um, that's that's Jigga's thing. Um, I don't know. Think of somebody. Think of, Just name somebody. They all They all have something to them. Ice Cube was the, yeah. the hardest in the Jerry Curl of all time. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like they, they, they got something. That's I, guess, I guess you're right. You know, you're, you're right. They Everybody does have a, some sort of gimmick, and then the ones who don't have a strong gimmick don't get on, like or don't get hot. Not uh, to the same level. Yeah, yeah not to the same you, level. You, uh, you got to stand out, I guess, man. what's Kendrick's gimmick? I, I don't. What's J. Cole's oh, gimmick? Uh, so and good. That's great questions. Kendrick don't really have one. 
and and that's why he doesn't have the same height that's than some true. other people. That's not true. He doesn't. He's Kendrick, more popular than a lot of people. So. Go ahead. He is Kendrick more popular than a lot of people. But is he is, would you say he, that was? He hasn't always been a super pop star, though. He hasn't always been that. His the career voice. is built. Uh, no, it was the, the West Coast savior. He was supposed to bring West Coast music back. He had all the West Coast push when he came out. Like, uh, he did. That was his gimmick. Yeah, yeah sign with Dre. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but, I mean, he definitely has those things. You're, you're right. I, I just don't think that like Eminem has his his gimmick. He's, you know, he's white and he raps fast. He's white. He got jokes. <laughs> yeah, so being have, white is the gimmick. No, 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 no. That's no, that I, is the yeah, gimmick. Yeah. They yeah, sold that gimmick. as like, oh, he's the greatest white boy or whatever. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. No, nah, I mean they all have. The, the, like I said, a lot Jay of Jay got a gimmick, and that's probably why people. I feel like why people put him last. He don't have true. a gimmick. Think of think uh, of like the ultimate no gimmick dude is like Fonte. Yeah, I, and I love Fonte. See, I, that's the thing. I think that's my problem. I love the people without a gimmick. I, 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 I do love rappers who feel more authentic to me, and mm-hmm. they, and that's why I, be, I love people like Blue or Fonte, and and these rappers, you know, don't. And that's why they don't do no yeah. no numbers. <laughs> J Cole rides a bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good gimmick, yeah. exactly. But even uh, but even that is a thing now. It wasn't a thing when he started. Like the the I'm no. humble. Like I don't go do nothing. Like I'm just a, like a, I dress like a bum. That wasn't how he started off. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. That's, yeah. So I mean, yeah, there's other people too. Off. Like I said, all my most of your favorites, man. To me, the the reason why they Logic ever people the, that you know <laughs> is like. <laughs> Logic is not mulatto. Logic is <laughs> no. is is he has the he if you do a test, that dude has zero melanin. He must have like point oh 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 one percent. He got uh, his Spotify is talking of, about of, of being black blackness. but not being recognized as it. Yeah, yeah. Talking about being bi- biracial. Yeah, that's true. I mean but he didn't he, talk he, about he that at first. Back. His gimmick is more nerd stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. was his he, gimmick. If, that's how he got his fans. And then he got on that, he did that that suicide song. Yeah, which you're right. Which is a gimmick. Yep, that's that was a big gimmick. Yep, yep, <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. Listen, you you listen. You, I, I it, it all coming together now for me. Now I, I see it. But so some people I, got I can't hate. That's right. Like you know, Doom got a got a gimmick. Ghostface yeah. got a gimmick. You yeah. Know? I mean, a, a whole Wu Tang is, you know, that's a. I mean, you can say that whole thing is yeah. a gimmick. Yeah. But, Kung Fu Negroes. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. that's a. <laughs> no, who don't love Kung Fu? I mean, I love it. But like I said, so I, I can't hate. I can't hate on his, you know, cowboy Mexican thing. I mean, listen, hey, I can't hate on it. it it's cool. But they got a lot um, of Mexicans in America, man, that, that will listen to his music. So, you know what I'm saying? Cowboy so Mexican is definitely a thing out here. <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah. You get right. now. You got like a group of people that's gonna be like, oh yeah, you repping for me? Okay. Um, I feel like the tribe, oh. uh, tribe, just that they they were the, like that whole like cool, smooth, jazzy like feel. That's so, that's a gimmick. I mean, well, you could say that was a different sound. I wouldn't say gimmick is is a wrong word to put it. That just was its own sound, especially when they first came out. It was like they were made a new way for themselves. I don't think the, the, like the original, comments, see, that's the thing, the original rappers, like when we talk about Rakim and stuff, I don't feel like they had a gimmick. They were just making their, they were making their own sounds and they sound unique enough that the music was its own, you know, quote unquote gimmick. It, it was its own sound. They had their own, you know, dominated sound so that they need, they need a personal gimmick as well. They need to dress it up as much. You know what I mean? Like today, yeah. so much music sounds the same, that it's like the only the ones who are doing some special extra thing are, are the ones that blow up. So yeah, it's hard too because I mean you you got to be you have to stand out with this many things out here. Um, you know because uh, the the artists you have to be great at business and music to be really successful right now, or have like a, a team that's really great at mm-hmm. you know business aspects. Otherwise, you're not getting noticed. You're not doing the you know the same things to get standouts and and sell merch and all that type of stuff you got to have something 